an honor. Uh, Your honor. <laughs> just the thought of the way the entire game unfolded, John, with Price, Kimbrell, and then Mookie with the big blow after, I think, uh, maybe frustrating day with runners in scoring position. Yeah, we created uh, a number of opportunities. Many guys in scoring position, uh, you know, particularly you get in a first and third situation with uh, Bogey and David coming to the plate. You think that's, and it's typically been uh, at least one run on the board, but you know, they made a couple of pitches. Uh, we, we didn't cash in on those opportunities, but all along, uh, you know, David Price was just strong. He was outstanding. Uh, I even thought that he had uh, strike three on Gutierrez right prior to the home run to the opposite way. Uh, the biggest inning probably after we take the lead after Mookie's home run uh, goes out against the heart of their order. Uh, a very strong eighth inning. Turns it over to Kimbrell, who was dominant today. So a good series win against a good team. John, it's been a while since you guys have won a one-run game. How important is it to win today as well as looking ahead to those close games? Yeah, you know, Michael, I think there's some things inside of a game that uh, you're going to have to execute uh, in key moments, and it starts on a mound. And, and David was doing that repeatedly against, uh, particularly against a couple of guys that have had some success against him, Cano and Cruz in particular. Uh, you know, he, he gave up a couple of base hits to each early on, uh, but after that, uh, he was locked down, and as the game went on, it looked like he got more um, more powerful in both stuff and command. Uh, so ju just to go out, win a run, one-run game the way we did, come back after, you know, like I said, multiple missed opportunities early. Uh, we manufacture the one run, and then Mookie, you know, with a big blow. So that, that's, uh, that's a good win today. John, that's two straight starts without a walk for Price. What's allowed him to sharpen that control and command? Oh, I think he's just settled into what has been his normal delivery for a number of years. Uh, you know, you look at what he's done since, I guess, over the last eight starts. Uh, it's progressively getting better. Uh, he's been more efficient with his pitch, uh, not only his pitch mix, uh, but the number of pitches thrown. Uh, he's been to quality locations throughout, and it's just it's great to see a guy go out and work like he does. Just with Stephen Wright pitching tomorrow, just what's it meant to have him pitch the way he has every every fifth day of the season? You know, in in one word, it's very dependable. Uh, he's been stingy with the number of base runners allowed. Uh, he's done a great job uh, when he's had men in scoring position to minimize potential big innings. Um, and when you you know you see him walk to the mound every day, our our team has a tremendous amount of confidence and trust when he walks to the mound. So uh, that's been earned completely on his part uh, by the way he's. Not only been deep into ball games, uh, but the the number of adjustments he's had to make inside of each one. So uh, it, it's good to have you know three guys on a rotation going as they are with he and, and Rick as well. Dad, did you have an update on Rick? Uh, he had a a, a very good re-exam here today. Uh, we've got still some protocol uh, to go through to get him on a rehab assignment, but uh, hopefully in the coming days that would begin.